had a, uh, you know just a huge rise uh, in terms of who who you are compared to the Reds fans. We know who you are. A year ago, when Tony Singrani was uh, an unknown commodity, but a huge year for you in 2012. Talk about uh, what made 2012 great for you. I went, went out there and uh, you know threw a fastball and <laughs> in my location, locations and uh, you know, moved me up from there. People so. got it just that easy. Man. Yeah, Why, just how, that easy. how did that not make yeah. it? I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, a guy, if I'm not mistaken, you had one of the lowest DRAs in all of uh, minor league baseball this year. Actually, Skip Dayton, one of the few guys that have actually skipped Dayton, a third round pick you were. Uh, they spent time in both Bakersfield and Pensacola this year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, talk about uh, the, the, your time spent in Bakersfield. The California League, uh, from what I hear, is a, an interesting league to be in. Oh, yeah. Um, the ball flies out really well there. Um, you know, just keep it low in the zone, and hopefully they don't make contact. And if they do make contact, hopefully it's not hard contact. And uh, you know, the the fields weren't too bad. Everything was pretty good. Uh, you know, played under Grippy, so that was awesome. You know, meeting him and uh, playing under him, so that's cool. Tony, talk to us about uh, your expectations for this year. Uh, you, you said that you haven't talked to m uh, many people within the organization lately, but uh, I'm sure they had a, a you know a pretty good. Uh, out meeting with you at the end of the season. Talk about some of the things that they want Tony Singrani working on for 2013. Uh, you know, just come back with uh, you know my fastball command and then uh, working on a slider. You know, just get that better and uh, you know just get stronger and you know just go out there and try to fight for, for a position. You know, so. first appearance in the majors for the Reds was in a relief appearance of Johnny Cueto. Three innings pitch, one hit, one earned run, no walks, and five strikeouts. What was that like? That that first trip out to the mound in a big league uniform after playing in all those smaller parks in the minor leagues and finally getting that big time debut? Um, it was fun. Uh, this, this is more nerve-wracking than actually going out there and pitching a big league game, actually. Um, but uh, it, it was fun. You know, that's what that's what I do for a living. So, you know, it, was, it was real exciting. Real exciting. To be uh, have your fastball voted as the best in uh, California uh, by the California League managers. Um, uh, talk to us about your fastball. Is it was it a, is it more of a movement or is it just hard or what? What, are, what did they like about it? I guess in your uh, opinion. You know, 89, 93, sometimes 95, might hit 97, whatever. And you know, it's just deceptive, you know. And it's coming from you know a low three quarters arm slot, and has a little bit of movement on it, late movement. And, Hitters just can't really pick it up. And you've got uh, some great pitchers on the big league roster, certainly to, to pick brains of Johnny Cueto, Matt Latos, uh, Araldis Chapman. They're very different guys. I don't know how much you can really pick from Araldis. I don't know how much you could confer to you. Uh, but uh, Cueto, Johnny, and uh, Matt, they are great with English, but uh, they're both very different pitchers. Is there anything that the, they impart to you, or they let the coaching staff do most of that? Um, you know, I didn't really get too much time to talk to them, but I was in the bullpen with like Sean Marshall and Sam McCure and all them, so I mean, I, you know, I picked their brains, you know, I talked to Marshall a lot, you know, he's 30 years old, he's been around for, you know, six years, so I talked to him about pitching and all that stuff, so, I mean, I got to pick a, some of the bullpen guys' brains, that was pretty good. You're a young guy, you're a big guy with a lot of accolades that you earned last year in the minor leagues, what have you been doing so far in the offseason preparing yourself for, uh, for spring training? Just uh, getting stronger, um, just basically just doing my workouts and, Getting ready. 172 strikeouts, 52 walks. 172 strikeouts for any level is just enormous. Um, the, the fastball, of course, we talked about. What else is in the uh, Singrani repertoire? Uh, I throw a changeup. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, and then slider. And, uh, that one's not very good. But it's, it's there. Uh, it's, it's there. It works. Yeah, it's, sometimes it works. Yeah, 173 ERA qualifying. Let all qualifying minor league pitchers in ERA. I think uh, what you got going is definitely working for you, young man. Thank you. Uh, it's a crowded bullpen and a crowded rotation for the Cincinnati Reds, but uh, thankfully you don't have to try to crack into that right away. Um, any thoughts of are they going to put you in Pensacola, uh, uh, AAA? Any any idea at all? Probably none. I have no idea. Wherever uh, they tell you to throw, you'll throw. Yeah, wherever they put me, you know, I'll go out there and throw the ball. And you got to come up when the uh, rosters expanded at the end of the year. Actually, I saw you. I can't remember. Was it Houston? Maybe you pitched against. I can't remember. Uh, but uh, you look pretty comfortable out there, though. I mean, what did that mean for you? Those couple days getting out there with the rosters expanded. Um, I loved it. You know, meeting all the guys. You know, going into spring training next year, knowing everybody, which is, a, I think, a big thing. And, uh, you know, just meeting all the go those guys and how they go about their, you know, daily routines and everything is pretty cool. You uh, been able to stay healthy throughout your pitching life? Uh, relatively. Relatively. Yeah. That's always the big question when it comes to oh, yeah. pitchers. 
But being a lefty and being a high strikeout guy, they, they're quite a commodity, and so the Reds are going to do what they can to keep you healthy, of course. I hope so. <laughs> That's their job, is to keep you healthy. But, uh, you know, you really had a, a, just a huge rise throughout the system in terms, like I said, of what Baseball America and everybody else sees you and thinks of you. A third-round pick. Kind of take us... Uh, Back to before you got here, where'd you come from? Who'd you play for, and where'd they draft you from? Uh, I went to Rice University. I uh, played under Wayne Graham. Um, my junior year wasn't good at all, and uh, so we we did some things with my mechanics. And then the next year, I came out, and posted a pretty good ERA, and got drafted. And... Rice has done a good job of putting pitchers out there. Jeff Beamans oh, yeah. and the Townsends, guys like that, over the years. So uh, great numbers arms. up there. I mean, numbers just through a perfect game. So that's pretty yeah. cool. Um, yeah, they do. They do a pretty good job over there. And the Chicago kid, as you mentioned, uh, going to Rice, it was probably quite a uh, recruiting uh, battle if you went down to Houston for uh, school. I went to a junior college for two years, and we'd go down there for spring training or spring break. And uh, you know, they saw me out there when I was thrown against one of the junior colleges over there, and they signed me the next day. So it's pretty good. Awesome. Well, great. Uh, uh, Tony, thank you so much for coming on board. Left-handed pitcher, we'll, we'll see a lot of him. Uh, you'll be working your way through the minors, but I'm sure we'll see you plenty in Cincinnati uh, in the near future. Sounds good. Thank Tony, you thank you so much. Uh, Tony Singrani.